Deuteronomy 10, verse 1, the second pair of tablets. At that time the Lord said to me, Hew for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and come up to me on the mountain, and make yourself an ark of wood. And I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets, which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, hewed two tablets of stone like the first, and went up the mountain, having the two tablets in my hand. And he wrote on the tablets, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which the Lord has spoken to you in the midst, from the midst of the fire, in the mountain, in the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them to me, and I turned and came down from the mountain, and put the tablets in the ark, which I had made. And there they are, just as the Lord commanded me. Now the children of Israel journeyed from the wells of Bnei Jachan to Mazareh, where Aaron died, where he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered as priest in his stead. From there they journeyed to Gugoda, and from Gugoda to Jotbatha, a land of rivers of water. At that time the Lord separated the tribe of Levi to bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, to minister to him, to bless in his name to this day. Therefore Levi has no portion nor inheritance with his brethren. The Lord is his inheritance, just as the Lord your God promised him. As at the first time I stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights, the Lord also heard me at that time, and the Lord chose not to destroy you. Then the Lord said to me, Arise, begin your journey before the people, that they may go in and possess the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Verse 12, the essence of the law. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul? and to keep the commandments of the Lord and the statutes which I command you today for your good. Indeed, heaven and the highest heavens belong to the Lord your God, also the earth with all that is in it. The Lord delighted only in your fathers to love them, and he chose their descendants after them, you above all people, as it is this day. Therefore circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and be stiff-necked stiff -neck no longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality nor takes a bribe. He administers justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the stranger, giving him food and clothing. Therefore love the stranger, for you are strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God. You shall serve him, and to him you shall hold fast, and take oaths in his name. He is your praise, and he is your God, who has done for you these great and awesome things, which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down to Egypt with seventy persons. Now the Lord your God has made you stars of heaven in multitude.